Hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you a new time lapse of the southern sky using a 22mm f2.8 prime lens which covers this area of the southern celestial polar region at 8.15pm the 15th of May 2021 Eastern Australian time. The time lapse will not only show the clockwise rotation, it will show that the point of rotation stays due south. It doesn't travel from east to west around the imaginary domed flat earth. So here we go. I made sure these plants here were in the shot to show the camera is fixed in one direction the whole duration of the three hour time lapse. Sigma Octantis is right there. As we can see, this area here is the center of rotation. It's a fairly dark area of the sky to the naked eye, but thanks to long exposure photography, we can see it rather well. This here is the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, and to the naked eye, it just looks like a cloud. And for those wondering how I'm even filming this, I have my camera aligned due south and pointed up from level about 33 degrees into the sky. This will point directly to the southern celestial pole. The reason this works is my latitude on the globe is 32.7 degrees south. And if any flat earthers would like to tell me how that works on a flat earth, I'd love to hear it. I then set my camera to continuously take photos. Each photo is a 13 second exposure to gather as much light as possible. All up, this time around, the camera took 772 photos. I then put all those photos into my video editor and show each photo for about a tenth of a second, one after each other, giving the effect of motion. I then save that as a video file. It's actually similar to stop motion, take a photo, the subject moves a tiny amount, then take another photo and repeat that about a thousand times. That's how I create these. There's nothing CGI about it. And as we can see, after about three hours, I'll show you the photo info here from 8.14 p.m. the 15th of May, all the way down, all the way down to 11.20 p.m. on the same night the southern celestial pole was due south the whole time. Next, I can take those 772 individual photos and put them into a program called Star Stacks. Now, this program doesn't stack the photos aligning the stars. It stacks the photos aligning the frame of each image and builds it up so each step is a new image, creating the star trail effect. I can then take all those images and put them into my video editor and create this video here in the same way as the time lapse before. Thus, again, showing us a different perspective of the southern sky rotating around a constantly due south southern celestial pole. The reason I'm explaining my process of producing these time lapse videos is because flat earthers believe I'm doing some kind of CGI manipulation with these type of videos. And it does get a little frustrating. Don't get me wrong, I usually enjoy it when flat earthers think my stuff is completely fabricated because then I know it destroys their flat earth fantasy. But I thought it was time to explain how I do it. It's just that I put a lot of work into these and it does get frustrating from time to time when a flat earther just comes along and says, no, nah, fake CGI, next. Yeah. Oh, and this image I showed at the start is a stacked image. This is about 40 photos from the time lapse stacked together using the stars to align each frame. And that's how we get that rich detailed image. So keep one eye on the sky, don't forget to remind all the morons they are morons. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. A huge thanks to my Patreons. See ya.